Hey guys, this is Paragon 88 and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Red Version. This is episode 32. Last episode, uh, we are exploring more of the Rocket's secret base, and now we're over here and uh, I already beat these two guys here, so now we can get up to the boss. Yeah, let's do it, Red. So that's what he looks like, huh? Hey there, guy, you're in big trouble with us, ha! <laughs> so, I must say, I am impressed. You got here. <laughs> okay then, guy. You care to introduce yourself or something? <laughs> My name is Giovanni. I'm prepared to be defeated. Okay, we'll just see about that, Giovanni. Okay. Hmm, so you he's the guy in charge, huh? Well, he certainly looks like it. But don't worry, we're not intimidated. Because we're going to uh, bring you into justice there, Giovanni. And then we're going to break up Team Rocket and they won't cause any more trouble. Oh right, uh, you've got that other level. Oh look, there's a Rhyhorn. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, Rhyhorn is a rock Pokemon, I believe. Yeah, rock Pokemon, that's it. So, he's also susceptible to ice. Oh right. And we easily defeated it. Quickly. Wow, Giovanni is not having a good day. Whoa, Kangaskhan! That's like extremely rare. Where in the world did you get a Kangaskhan at? Yeah, anyway, Kangaskhan is a normal type Pokemon. But a very strong normal type Pokemon. And you can find it in a very particular place. Uh, I'll tell you where you can find it later. But yeah, let's use Beef here. Why did I forget to heal Beef before we got there? Ugh, why didn't anybody remind me? Oh no, Rage! Oh, this is terrible. What Rage does exactly is, uh, at first it hits you with a little attack like that, it probably is nothing but... Avenge it, but, uh, every turn it grows in power, it increases, uh, Kangaskhan's attack, and then Rage is gonna hurt even more. So the longer that Kangaskhan is alive, the more his Rage is gonna hit. Consequence is that that's all it can do, I believe. So yeah, we have to make sure we defeat Kangaskhan as quickly as possible. Oh no, and Beef's not doing the job. Okay, we better change, because I think right about then, uh, Beef might get, uh, fade by one hit. Regardless, so let's just choose someone else here. Hey, yeah, let's switch to Duck real quick. Oh, right, Duck. Let's go ahead and finish- Oh, you gotta use Guard Spec, that doesn't matter. Who cares, right? We're just gonna go ahead and finish it off right now. Yes, we did it! And we defeated Kangaskhan and all of Giovanni's Pokemon. Oh, right, we defeated him! Ha! Huh. What? This cannot be! Yeah, it is, ha <laughs> ha. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Oh, no way, Giovanni! You get ah, he got away! I, I don't believe it, Ray. Why did you do something? What about you, Spud? Uh, what do you expect me to do, huh? Well, we found the... Uh, well, okay. We foiled Team Rocket yet again, and we got the... What is it called? Sphex scope or something? Yeah. It'll allow us to see Ghost Pokemon. But we'll explain more of that later. But right now, now that we uh, dealt with the rockets, yet again, it's time we got to do one more objective in Cell C. That's right. Yeah, we're now going to go ahead and take care of the gym leader. Yes, right. We're going to go and defeat. We're going to uh, battle Erica. So let's go ahead and get to her gym. We kind of already got there earlier. But first, let's go to the Pokemon Center because our uh, po because our Pokemon got pretty beat up from the fight of Giovanni. Uh, actually, we kind of did. I know, but we're gonna might as well heal anyway. The annoying thing about uh, the traders in Erica's gym is that they have a lot of Pokemon that cause status ailments like sleep and poison. So you might want to go to the store first and, and buy plenty of antidotes and sleep powders. I mean, and awakening items. Just to warn you. What are you still doing here, Team Rocket Guy? You realize your leader just ran off? Whatever. <laughs> he could just walk around unemployed, I guess. There you go, Spud. Good cutting. Good cutting. As always. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, the gym's this way now. Okay, yep, here it is. This is Celadon Gym. What are you doing, old man? <laughs> this gym is great, it's full of women. Uh, 
Can you say pervert much? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Celadon City, Pokemon Gym, Leader Erica, the nature loving princess. Alright, we're going up against royalty here. Okay, let's see here. Celadon City, Pokemon Gym, Leader Erica, Winning Traders Blue. Oh, of course he beat us here. Oh my goodness. Whatever. I, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna battle these other trainers on my own time, so don't worry about it. We're gonna just go straight to Erica for time purposes. Okay. Yeah, well, we have to face this trainer first. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Um, okay, thank you. It's almost like you're, uh, talking like in a dating surface or something and talking about your hobbies. Whatever. Okay, then. Oh, execute. Nah, that's a grass-type Pokemon, but its evolution, which is its evolved form, uh, Executor will be a grass and psychic Pokemon. Oh, and that's Reflect. Uh, Reflect protects, uh, cause a uh, physical attacks to be divided into half, uh, for five turns. But even if you sw even if you switch out, the Reflect shield will still be there. Though it doesn't really matter because Mer Meryl is using fire and it's not a physical attack, so we win easily. Oh, splendid. Of course. I have a blind date coming up. I have to learn to be polite. I don't care about your life. Oh, so you're Erica, huh? Hello. Lovely evening, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh, dear. I, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of the Celadon Gym. We know that. I teach the art of flower raging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Well, duh! Well, very well. But I shall not lose. Well, we won't either. Alright, now we're going to go up against the Celadon Gym Leader, Erica. And how she's making the Pokeball float like that, I don't know why. Oh, victory bell! We can- <laughs> It's actually the evolved form of- Uh... What was it called? Weaving bell, that's right. Which is also the evolved form of a bell sprout. Yeah, Victoria, uh, Victory Bell's gonna be very annoying because it has Rap, and as we know, Rap causes us to not fight back for a while, which annoys me and Red greatly. Ugh. It also has uh, Poison Powder and Sleep Powder, I think. So that's why I told you to go to the store and uh, buy some antidotes and Awakenings, which we, which we did kind of in a split second, you haven't really paid attention to. But yeah, we went back to the store and got some of those. Where where did we where did the, where did the cut happen? I'm not gonna tell you. It's a super mega secret. Yeah, yes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put antidote on Marl later. But we'll just wait for the right time. Oh, about time. We're almost uh, going down Victory Bell's uh, attack. Uh, e uh, HP. Sorry. <sighs> But yeah, this is going to be a very annoying gym battle. Also going to be very hard if you don't have a fire Pokemon or a Pokemon that has an ice attack. Yeah, it's going to get very annoying and hard if you don't have have a fire Pokemon. But luckily we do. <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good. And I hate this rap attack. It's so annoying. Ugh. Come on! This is this is this is so stupid. Ugh. Hey, don't get so worked up already. We're winning. I I know Spud, but I'm 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 just so. And yet, um, Meryl, I mean, Morel got poisoned again. <sighs> With victory bells defeated, we got two more Pokemon to go. Thank goodness. All right then, Tangela. Oh, that's another Pokemon we didn't see before. Uh, Tangela is a kind of a rarish Pokemon that you can find in a particular place. I, it's not too much of a threat actually, it only has like two attacks, Vine and Constraint. You've, you've seen Vine before, but Constraint is not like Rap, it just hits once. But I think it slows you down, I believe. It's no big deal, we can uh, easily defeat it, of course. So let's take in this time to heal Mar Marl a bit. But of course, Vine is just like Rap, so it'll annoy me if it actually uses it on, on a Marl. It's also very dangerous for me to use Vaporeon, even though she does have Ice Speed, because uh, she's a Water-type. 
and grass is good against water, so we don't want to do that. So Marl is pretty much the star in this battle. And yeah, we definitely want to keep him alive as much as possible. Of course, you can also use Psychic and Ground Attacks too because some of her Pokemon are actually of the Poison type. Just keep that in mind. But using Ground is also very risky. Just to let you know. Okay, that's it for this episode. I'm, I'm sorry I can't finish the whole thing, but uh, let's leave this as a cliffhanger, okay? <laughs> so that's the end of episode 32. Stay tuned for episode 33 when we uh, get to the conclusion of this battle. Alright, this is Paraguy the 8. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> wow, this is epic. <laughs>